Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I wanted to speak to you about a couple of news articles that I came across online yesterday. So yesterday I finished a um, video, a lengthy video for you, um, so it should be up by now by the time this one goes up. And as I wrapped up, I accidentally and completely unintentionally came across a very awful story and podcaster that I never heard of before um, talking about something dreadful that had happened in Sweden, in Stockholm and I believe it was only on Wednesday. I only heard about this yesterday which was Friday so I looked into the actual um, official news uh, source to see more about the legitimate um, case and it is absolutely shocking. Um, so we'll get into that in a moment and not that this is anything directly associated with me in any way, but it has given me considerations, concerns, ponderings. So this is basically me thinking out loud. That's all this is, just trying to connect things, trying to understand what the atmosphere is like and the um, ambience of people treating people, um, as in Swedish people, treating uh, foreigners coming into their country and is this uh, basically fuel on the fire, that sort of thing. So it's just me trying to figure out with the amount of attacks. So not only are there a lot of, a lot of attacks, there's an awful lot of attacks and different various kinds of attacks. And then when I was listening to videos, um, news videos, saying that uh, Sweden is not one of the second most dangerous countries ever or on the world in the world um, second after Mexico for uh, explosions and bombs and I'm like what oh, this, this is Sweden if you know me and you've known me for a long time you will have known my love affair with Sweden from people to the culture everything right and I love doing my research and really learning about this country and it's been such a dream to be able to just delve into something that you're so passionate about and a place that you kind of wanted to be your forever home at one point. But I am an author and a writer in other realms. Therefore, I dig in my heels and I do research and I do a lot of research. So before I bring anything to you or say anything publicly or aloud, I have done a lot of research and I'll never want to be accused of doing anything or spreading you know, this information. So by the time I brought it to you, I will have felt comfortable and confident that at the time which I brought it to you, it was 100% accurate. Which is why I don't really have much opinions on too many things that are controversial and things like that. So I'm quickly going to delve into this news article um, and then we're just going to briefly ponder a lot. <laughs> That's basically it. So Sweden or Swedish MP, PM, on shooting, another line has been crossed. Stockholm shooting. PM says another line has been crossed after son watched his father be shot in confrontation in front of him. So 39 year old Polish man was fatally shot following a confrontation with a group of youths in Stockholm on Wednesday evening. The man's nationality was confirmed by his brother in law um, to the Polish press agency on Thursday. The incident occurred as the man and his 12 year old son were on route to a swimming pool and um, so that was basically it, I don't really need to go into the whole story but that's basically it, so of course that sort of thing will cause contention between groups of people obviously we see that, we see that in my own country, countries that I've lived in and travelled to and um, any time that there's a sort of a rumbling of some kind of um, aggression or terror attack or something like that there's always uh, rumblings uh, in the aftermath consequently um, with other people so you know if you're not from the country you're not uh, the citizens usually rise up and there's some kind of trouble um, we've seen that uh, in many European countries in recent times so it, it really is a prominent thing however when I was doing my research I have come across so many attacks between teenagers being kidnapped and unfortunately raped and tortured in fields by what the article said was migrants, not my words, the article, the, the outlet's words, 
uh, between Brussels shooting and October 2023, um, where it was claimed by Swedish people that even though they weren't in Sweden, Swedish people were specifically being attacked in terror attacks. Um, in Germany, arrest of two Afghans over Swedish parliament attack plot. So that was only three weeks ago. When I was looking into various different um, articles, just briefly going through over the last year and two years, um, it has actually become the Swedish uh, new normal. The bombs are in the suburbs during the week and weekend days. Um, so there's a lot of attacks to go through. There's too many to go through in this particular video. Um, so I wanted to just put it out there in consideration. Is this happening as far as contention towards immigrants in Sweden happening because of the issues, the violence, the the deaths, the murders, the stabbings, the um, explosions, the the shootings, all of that, because I know there is contention because I've I've also read other news articles, um, and I've also listened to a lot of other um, podcasters talking about their experience, their personal experience of whom are not associated with me, don't even know that I exist. I've just listened to their stories independently, and they say that Sweden's a wonderful place to be but there are at times rumblings towards them because they're immigrants. And I was just totally astounded by that because, but the Swedish people I've corresponded to directly have only ever been the most helpful, really, really genuinely lovely, lovely people. And I felt so blessed having met so many wonderful, wonderful people um, because I have never been that blessed to find that in one culture or one country to that magnitude that everybody that I met was so attentive, nobody was ever rude, and I've been to other countries where most of the people were really, really lovely and really, really nice, but there's always, you know, one or two that would kind of be a little bit rude, not necessarily discriminatory or anyway, just their attitude or just their personality, that kind of way, so not anything too contentious in that regard, but you know, we have various people that's, you know, good and bad, there's good and bad everywhere, um, but in the Swedish, Swedish um, arena from where I've been working with, absolute dream come true so I couldn't wait to move there I couldn't wait to start planning my future there and um, writing all of my novels and all of my screenplays set in Sweden or in the surrounding Scandinavian countries um, so because of my heartache my broken heart by my experience um, I really wanted to get to the root, I'm one of those people, I really want to get to the root of the reason as to why these things are happening. And I'm not saying that this is it, I'm just saying, wondering, I'm wondering, is this part and parcel that, or some people just don't like immigrants, that's also a possibility. And in other people, they, they don't really mind immigrants until certain things happen. And then they become sort of a target or what have you. But at the end of the day, my problem with this all is I have never had a criminal record or been in trouble anywhere in the world in my whole entire life. I have a completely clean record in that regard. And I've never participated in any sort of youth violence or aggression or adult youth vi or adult violence or aggression in any capacity to anybody. I'm like the least violent person you'll ever meet. So, um, and I hate confrontation, absolutely hate confrontation. And I will do everything possible to um, avoid it at all costs. But there's always somebody that explodes something in your universe that you have to deal with. And just because you don't necessarily like those things happening or don't back those things happening, um, when they do happen, you really have to stand up because I've learned long ago, um, only too well, that whenever you don't stand up and you don't stand for your own rights, nobody else is going to do that for you and you really have to not let things slide and let people get away with things because there's a lot of complacency in the world, particularly today, and you know, we, we all have our own particular rights and we all need to be able to execute them in whatever way and the realm of law allows us. So I'm a really big believer in that. However, I just was trying to figure out in my own mind, so I can have peace, where this hostility for immigrants has come from in Sweden. 
And I've read a lot of forums and listened to many, many videos, news and um, other podcasters, um, who have given their opinions, either Swedish people who are actually Swedish and live in Sweden or are Swedish and they've moved um, and said that they'll never live in Sweden ever, ever again for these issues with the migrants um, and how their, their country and their world has kind of been turned upside down. So therefore, I just really wanted to know, is there... I know there's a lot of hostility from what these people are saying, again there's nothing to do with me, from what they're explaining their stories and their experiences, which I have every right to do. They're, they're claiming that there's a lot of hostility from what they've experienced firsthand in their country, so they've, they've migrated somewhere else. Um, so that was just all I was wondering aloud. Uh, so if you have had experiences of discrimination um, or abuse or anything like that because you've been an immigrant, particularly in Sweden, please do get in touch and share your story if you haven't already. And if you have, just please, if you don't mind, share a link where I could maybe watch your story and maybe try to learn something from it as to how uh, Swedish people are perceiving immigrants today in this era of unfortunate spiked um, aggression and terror attacks all over again. Um, so we can all kind of learn and maybe become more broader-minded because there's nothing worse than being a shallow, narrow-minded person that's just blinkered and just thinks that your own, really your own, is the only best in the world when there's a whole big world out there and there's equally wonderful people everywhere. Um, so yeah, do share 